Hey Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk about Intel's Turbo Boost technology. So we're looking at an i9-9900K here right now. And the Intel uh, specs on this chip are 3.6 gigahertz base frequency and a 5 gigahertz Turbo Boost frequency. And so you hear those numbers, it's like, well, what does that really mean? Well, again, the base frequency is 3.6 gigahertz. Unless you're overheating, you're always going to be able to get your 3.6 gigahertz if, if there's a load on the chip. If the chip's not doing anything, it may slow down to slower than that. But where it gets a little grayer is with this Turbo Boost technology. Again, I mentioned that the 9900K can go up to 5 gigahertz Turbo Boost. But what Intel is saying there is, if the power delivery is really good, if the cooling is really good, and you're only loading maybe one core, two at the most, then you can reach that 5 gigahertz. You start getting too hot, your power starts to droop, or your temperature starts to get too high, and then you're not going to get that 5 gigahertz. So let's take a look at some scenarios now and, and maybe it'll become a little more clear as to uh, how this really works. Okay, so I'm, I'm using the, um, my camera here instead of using uh, video capture on this computer because I don't want to generate any load on the processor other than what I'm wanting to generate. So I'm not doing it in the best way visually by using a camera, but to control how much CPU load I need to do it this way. So you see we're running an i9-9900K and this 3.6 gigahertz you see here in the task manager, that's the name of the processor. This will never change. The i9-9900K at 3.6, that's the name of the processor. The actual speed it's running is right down here and you can see we're only at like 1.7 gigahertz or so spiking up every now and again and that's because there's very little load on the chip so it slows down. Where it gets interesting though is how fast can we go when we're really wanting to get some work done. Well I've got something here called Prime 95 and this generates prime numbers using math and you can load anywhere from one to however many uh, threads your chip has and you'll notice here we have 16 threads or 16 boxes in the task manager. We have eight cores on our chip, 16 threads. So each core has two threads uh, by virtue of hyperthreading. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Prime95 to calculate prime numbers but only use one of my 16 threads. And so it's now calculating prime numbers using one of my 16 threads. And notice we're getting over 4.9 gigahertz here. We're almost hitting the theoretical limit of 5 gigahertz, which they say is the most this chip will ever go in Turbo Boost. So we're hitting somewhere, or it looks like we're averaging around 4.92. So that's pretty good. But again, we're only loading one core or thread out of 16. And the way Turbo Boost works is the less cores you have loaded, the faster the chip's going to go. And typically in gaming, you're not loading any more than two or three cores. So let's stop this test now. And let's, let's do four threads. So I'm going to load four th of our 16 possible threads up calculating prime numbers. So again, four of our 16 threads are working, working their tails off. And you see now we're at 4.75-ish gigahertz. So we've, we've gone down now. Our maximum that we're, we're able to achieve is about 4.75. And that's because we're running four of our cores. And again, the way Turbo Boost works, the more cores you load, generally the lower the clock speed you get. So let's stop our test. And let's load up half of our threads. Let's do eight threads out of 16. Now notice our clock speed is right around 4.6. So we went from 4.94 to 4.75 
down to 4.6. And I'm not going to bore you too much longer. Let's do let's load up them load them all up. All 16 threads. We want to run all 16 threads calculating prime numbers. So now you're going to see that all these boxes get completely full with work. Notice how they're all completely pegged out now as they scroll across. And notice also our clock speed is around 4.45-ish, 4.4. And that's because we've loaded up all 16 cores. Now we're not limited on temperature. Our temperatures are fine. Our temperatures, which are, I'm monitoring right here, are in the mid-60s. And this chip will not thermal throttle until it hits about 95 degrees. So we're way under uh, any kind of thermal throttling. But if I were overclocking this chip and forcing it to run at 5 gigahertz on all cores, then you would see these temperatures in the 90s. But the way Turbo Boost works is, again, if you load up all the cores, it's going to drop the clock speed accordingly. So the worst case we're going to see on this chip, it looks like, is about 4.4 gigahertz. And the best we're going to see is about 4.95. So that's your performance range. And depending on how many cores you load up will uh, determine what clock speed you get. Now the next big question is, well, how many, um, what kind of speed do you get when you're running X-Plane? Well, let's, um, let me tell this to be always on top. And eh, it still didn't work. All right, so let's bring our task manager back up. So you can see here, we're at 4.73 gigahertz or so, and that was the clock speed we were running when I think we loaded four cores, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, it's, x is going to fall somewhere in the middle because it's not going to be able to leverage all 16 threads on this processor. In fact, it's up towards the upper end. So uh, there's how it, it falls into play as compared to Prime 95. Hopefully that helps you understand somewhat what this whole turbo boost thing is with Intel processors.